Hey, what's up? Todd here, and today I'm going to teach you how to pull during the day. That's right, I said pull. I didn't say just hope to maybe get a date later. I said pull. I'm going to teach you a simple five-step process that you can use A to Z how to pull consistently. And the first step is you have to believe that pulling is possible. One of the biggest mistakes that I see guys make over and over and over again is they have a really good set. They have it going really well. Everything's on the table for them. Girl's ready to go somewhere and they just take a phone number or just, you know, settle for like a quick interaction and don't push it as far as they could, right? And they leave thinking it was a success and it was. They got a phone number, they got a potential to follow up, but they didn't take it as far as they could have in that instance. There are a lot of times you'll run into where the girl just has nothing to do during the day or nothing to do for a few hours. That is an opportunity. That's something you need to capitalize on and you need to believe it's possible. You need to know absolutely that you are the best decision the girl can make, know that you will enhance her life and know that if she does get pulled by you in the day, that's going to be one of the most romantic and memorable experiences of her life. All right, That's the frame you need to be coming from. You need to believe it is possible. If you don't, you will hold yourself back. And I know that because for years and years and years, it wasn't my reality to pull in the day. And because of that, I didn't. I had tons and tons of good sets got numbers, did dates, slept with like hundreds of girls, so no problems there, it's totally great, but I missed lots of opportunities along the way that I should have been capitalizing on, okay? So believe it, know it's possible. I'm gonna demonstrate for you, uh, I have a video coming out tomorrow where I'm gonna demonstrate exactly a poll during the day, so I'll demonstrate it there, but know that it is possible. Second thing, close early, close often, close late. Okay, you must be closing. The girl is not gonna close herself. That's not how girls work, all right? Girls like sex too, yes, but they don't wanna feel slutty about it. They don't feel like they were at fault or at cause in it happening. They want it to just happen, which means that you as the guy has to make moves, all right? You must make moves. Close early, close off, and close late. When you watch me do an interaction in the daytime, you will watch me venue changing a girl or attempting to venue change a girl typically within 30 seconds to a minute of starting the interaction, okay? I don't stand in one place. If I meet a girl on the street corner, 20 minutes later, I'm not standing there on that same street corner. We're in motion, right? Why is that important? Well, it's important for a couple reasons. First is that the longer that you stay in that initial place where you met her, the more it feels like a pickup, the more it feels like you're doing something to her. As soon as she goes somewhere with you, now it's like you're together, you're getting to know each other, and it just happens, and that's a much better vibe, all right? Also, though, there's the idea of compliance, which is every single time a girl says yes to you, it gets easier and easier for her to say the next yes, and the next yes, and the next yes, because she rationalizes in her mind why she said the first yes, okay? So you wanna get that yes ladder established. So for this reason, it's very important, start closing early, all right? Now, point three, is close in little increments. When I say close early, that may scare you. That may intimidate you. You may be worried, what if I offend her? What if I'm too forward? What if, uh, what if she, she's not ready for that yet? Well, fair play, right? Very likely she's not, so here's what you do. You don't close for everything right up front. You close for very little things. You don't walk out right up to a girl and open with, hey, you wanna come home with me tonight? Right? That's not gonna fucking likely happen. Right? But if you go and say, hey, you know what? I wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Oh, you know what? It's a little crowded over here. Let's go sit down for a second. Right? And take her five feet over to sit on a bench or be like, you know, it's, it's, it's hot out here. Let's go inside where there's air conditioning and take her somewhere close by. That's a very easy step that's not a ton of compliance for her, but it is taking the role that you, know, you are together, that there is some compliance established, that you like each other. So you want to get that started, but you start it in little increments. Okay? And you also don't necessarily even close right away. You sort of like hint at the close and see what happens. And this is what I call the soft close. Okay, it's not a hard close, it's a soft close. So for example, instead of saying like, um, let's go to get a smoothie right now, I might be like, are you, are you like more of a coffee person or like a smoothie person? I can't quite tell with your vibe. Right? And she'll answer, oh my God, I, I love smoothies. Well now, it's easier to be like, hey, let's go grab a smoothie. Right? So you kind of seed the idea as opposed to just throwing it out there. That's what's called the soft close. We're gonna to get to that later in a second uh, in sort of a broader sense when we talk about seeding the pole, seeding getting her home, all right? But it's very, very important that your clothes be early, often, and consistent, but that it be soft, right? The, the importance of it being early, I wanna get back to that for a second. Think of it this way. Probably along the way you're gonna get certain objections or you're gonna, get, you're gonna find out certain conditions of her, her life or her situation that day that may interfere with her going home with you. 
if you have a really great interaction, you get through the entire thing, you get right up to the end, you're trying to get her home and all those objections come out at once, it's gonna to be too much to handle all at once. And also it's kind of the end of the interaction, you don't have any time to handle it. If instead you start handling that in the first minute or five minutes of the interaction, and then you have a time period with that information of knowing what you have to deal with for 30, 40, 50 minutes, now you can figure it out. Now you have time to do the problem solving, all right? So it's very important to get those objections out of the way up front, but ideally again with the soft close without hearing no. Next concept, seating the pull, all right? You need to have an idea where you're going, all right? If you want to pull a girl home, first thing you should do is you should know the area. You should know the area near your house. You should also know the area you're in. You need to know what are, for the daytime, you need to know um, what are good coffee places, what are good smoothie places, what are good ice cream places. Are there good, like, cool places you can walk around and talk? Are there um, cool little secluded areas that you can have a quiet moment in? If you know these things, it's going to help enhance the experience. And maybe even more importantly, you need to know the area around your house. Right? Is there like a nice little park that you can invite them to? Is there a nice little like place for like a quick drink on the corner that you can invite her to? Um, do you have a rooftop that's really cool and picturesque? Do you have stuff back at your place that is a good lure, a good reason to go back? Now, understand she's not going just because of the reason you give her. She's not gonna sleep with you or go back to your house just because you have a cool painting on the wall. But if she wants to go with you anyway already and it just so happens you have a cool excuse, it makes it that much easier for her. So that's what you're doing. You're really giving her those excuses. You're giving her the way that it's an exciting experience and it just happened as opposed to she was a slut. Okay, that's very, very important that you allow that to happen. Okay, so you need to seed the pole. Now, when you're seeding the pole, one really cool tip, this is a very advanced tip, but it's not that hard to implement and it'll get you massive results, is seed the pole in the negative. So instead of saying, hey, let's go back to my place, be like, hey, you know what, I want to take you. Actually, you know what, I don't know you that well yet. We can't, we can't do that yet, never mind. And she'll be like, no, what, why can't I go, et cetera. And now she's asking to be taken somewhere as opposed to you begging to take her somewhere. The, the script has completely been flipped. Now she's in the role of chasing and you're in the role of the abundant man who's not trying too hard. But you've done essentially the same thing, okay? So it's very, very important, especially early on. I remember again, close early, close often, close late especially when you're closing early, it is important that you do it in the negative. So that brings us to the last point, which is baby step the pull. It's very difficult to get a girl from the street corner to your house in one step. It's very easy to get the girl to go from the street corner to, hey, let's go grab a coffee, to let's go take a walk, to, hey, let's go check out this amazing view, to, hey, I have a great like, uh, video I wanna show you on my computer. Right? So you go step by step by step. That was like five steps to get from the street corner to like inside your house or your apartment. But that five step process is very, very repeatable and very likely that it will go well as opposed to come straight back with me. Also very important when you do that five step process, each of those steps is little enough and sort of like palatable enough that you're not going to hear no along the way. And that's very, very important. Remember this. Every time you hear yes, the interaction gets easier. Every time you hear no, the interaction gets more difficult. If you make moves in small baby step ways, if you seed the pull well, and if you use the soft close, remember, don't close hard, close soft first, get the affirmation, get the yes, and then close hard. If you do all that, you're gonna get tons and tons of compliance and the process is going to be extremely smooth. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna add, this is sort of like a global step that helps just, you know, make all the other five work better, which is be patient. Be persistent, play to win, go hard, but be patient. Understand that if you seem pushy or needy at any point, you're gonna immediately come against resistance. However, if you seem to be taking your time and relaxing, ironically, that's when things are gonna go really fast. So if you try and pull the girl in five minutes, most of the time you won't pull her, and also, even the ones that would have pulled quickly, all of a sudden it's gonna be a six hour ordeal with a lot of resistance. But if on the other hand you're like, you know what, let's have a good time and maybe I'll pull the girl in a couple hours, then sometimes you're gonna get that five minute pull or that like half hour pull or one hour pull, right? But if you're trying to do it too fast, you're gonna be pushy, you're gonna be needy, it's not gonna work out. If you try and slow down, ironically, because you're getting positive compliance and you're not hearing the word no, that's when things actually go quickly. So this is a patient, consistent, thorough way to close consistently, to pull the girl home during the day. Believe it, it's possible.